www.newtobuzz.com. This is Ken Tai. It's New Year's Day today, and I'm going to be working on and creating video tutorials again. And this time was while I was recording uh, on, I mean, a voiceover on Adobe Audition CS6, I ran into a problem. That's saying like this. I try to press on record on the waveform view. And of course, if you do create recordings, you first have to name it like voice one, probably. And I'm using sample rate of 44 100 stereo and 24 bit. I click on OK, it would say the sample rates of the audio input and output devices do not match. Audio cannot be recorded until this is corrected. Also, would say uh, you need to have the appropriate audio device control panel setting have the sample rates of the input and the output device to somehow use the same setting. So what I do, this was working okay yesterday, but the thing that I've uh, made a difference with right now, I was using the Logitech USB headset yesterday using the USB connector, so it's not using the same input ports. Now I'm just using my Realtek um, board, Realtek IO port for the audio and then microphone and speakers connected to the motherboard. So that somehow changed the settings. So what you do in case you also would get the same error like this, you just have to first close that. Even though how uh, how many times you try doing that, it's still going to do uh, give you the same error. What you do is you close your audition first, and right here at the bottom uh, on your speakers, speakers icon. If you don't have that there, maybe you you don't like showing that. You can just have it popped in through the notifications or the properties bar right here. If you manage to have the speakers icon right here, what you do is right click over that. Again, what we're trying to do is to match the audio in and the audio out settings all those values in there so what you do again right click then you got two here playback and recording click on recording and it's going to give you a microphone again as I was saying I'm using Realtek uh, high def audio for uh, the microphone connected right now so what you do to verify right click over that and select properties for you to know that it's really the one that you're using, it would say here, Jack Info. Um, on the left panel, 3.5. If your microphone, like now, is connected to a pink port on your PC or your notebook, then it's the one sourcing in your audio. So, you verify that. What you do again, you got a tab right here on top that says Advanced. You just have to check on this. Here, two channel 16 bit 44 100 CD quality. Um, however, you'd want to use this uh, to sound. Maybe you'd want to use a DVD quality, you would want to make it sound a little bit higher studio. But for me, uh, the first one is enough. But in case you want to change that, what you just have to do is remember the value that you input here, okay. So in, in our case right now, what I've selected is two channels, 16 bit, 44, 100. Again, two channels, 16 bit, 44, 100. When you say two channel, that means stereo. So you click on OK. You know, I'm going to be changing that. But if you do want to change that, like you want to use this, then you could. So I, I want to use just CD quality. Click on OK. And you got another tab right here that says playback. If you can't find that tab, you go back here, right click, and instead of clicking recording devices, you click on playback devices. Then bring that back up again. This is just here, recording the one that we used earlier, and playback here. Then you verify again that you're using speakers, or your output would be real tech. Again, if you're using different output, maybe you're using USB connectors for that, for uh, digital audio, then it would say USB or Logitech USB headset here, somehow like that. 
so now it's real tech again to verify right click over that click on properties it would say left panel 3.5 millimeter jack so that's the one I'm using now if you're connected to like that then you're on a correct path then look up again for something that says advanced click on that and take a look at here it would say 16 bit but it would not say 44 100 remember the one that we used earlier uh, let me just go back to show you again recording right click properties advanced would say uh, stereo channel 16 bit 44 100 again 16 44 100 go back playback right click properties advanced 16 bit 9 192 so it's not 44 100 so it's somehow higher so what you do is drop the arrow down right here and select 16 bit 44 100 for the Hertz uh, I'm not saying that this is the one that you use but you just have to match this from the other one just have to match your uh, speaker property or your output properties with the input or microphone properties that you have so again 16 bit 44 100 so that'll be enough they're the same now click on apply let's say the device is being used by another application if you want to continue then it would somehow stop working but let's just continue that click on ok and again right here click on ok then let's try Adobe Audition if it would work and we're on a recording page now uh, be sure that you're on a waveform page right here. It's going to ask you again if you uh, here. If you click on recording, it's going to ask you if you name a title, uh, voice over play twelve, something like that. Remember your sample rate. You're using the 44100, right? For the hertz and channels uh, two channel, which is stereo, and you got 24 bit for this. Click on OK then it would allow you to record now sound check let's play see that it's it's working now so you can make adjustments right here um you don't have the errors anymore in case you get that back again if you're going to input uh other devices you just have to do back the procedure that we just did get for some other Adobe Audition CS6 tutorials and other Adobe software you could uh, check out our website www.newtoboss.com and on our YouTube channel please do subscribe youtube.com slash newtoworks again my name is Ty thanks for